is, and then, uh, like I said, it, in the, like James said, a little bit more of a deep dive. So again, my name is Tony Blodgett, um, regional sales manager uh, for the Western half of the world for CIRA. Um, so uh, yeah, I appreciate everyone being on here. CIRA is all about the perfect harmony of technology and design. So everything that you'll see is always gonna have a design element to it. Um, one thing to note, we are up and running full steam. Uh, our factory is located in Green Bay, Wisconsin, Titletown, USA. Uh, as we stated, we got a little cold snap going through right now. So um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a little chilly, but hey, whatever, right? That's, that's how we roll with things. So um, it'll be hot soon enough. I kind of look outside and say, I appreciate the, the quiet and the, uh, the calm of the winter type weather versus the dead of August when all the cicadas are cackling at me. So that's me. Hey, what are you gonna do? Anyway, um, so this is our factory though. So the real serious story started in 2003 um, when our co-founders and, and current owners, Tim and Gretchen Gilbertson, started Sierra in their garage. Um, the real story starts in 02. That's when they're going through a parade of homes locally and saw someone with two-way security mirror in front of a TV. And it was really a raw solution, but drove a lot of uh, attention. Kind of was the buzz of the parade of homes. And so they looked and then said, hey, you know, with our expertise, how can we develop something that, that's a, a true optimal solution within this category? And so the, uh, the Vanishing TV mirror was created uh, by Sierra back in 2003 and, and launched uh, with the company. And that's, that's really where the story started. The name Sierra itself is inspired by the French Impressionist George Seurat. Uh, if you've ever seen the movie Ferris Bueller's Day Off, uh, you know, and, and I've, I've gone through this story and, you know, hopefully many of you are, are on here as uh, um, re repeat callers as it were, right? But I uh, want to reinforce the fact that one, it's pronounced Sierra and the name came from George Surratt. So if you've seen Ferris Bueller's Day Off, he, Ferris is Bitey Cameron's in the Chicago Art Museum and he's staring at this painting and they zoom in on it. And when they zoom in, you see that it's a bunch of dots. So Surratt used a method called pointillism. So why, how does that fit with things? Well, think of all these dots to create this painting that looks like a brushstroke painting. Well, it's just like pixels on a TV to create a, a large, you know, stunning image. Walk into our factory offices, you see a pixelated snapshot of that painting, walk back and it blends together. Just to kind of tell that story, it's a, it's a neat story. Um, so that's where the name Sierra came from. We didn't want to call ourselves the TV mirror company, doing that would really pigeonhole the experiences that we were expecting to provide over the years. These are some of the, the companies that we work with. Um, we have a, a dedicated hospitality commercial division that really focuses with you know, large scale accounts. And then we also have, and where I live primarily, residential, like commercial, really through the, re the reseller division. So. Um, we share, I share these, these companies though, just as confidence stories, you know? So if I say, Hey, you know, Disney trusts us, we work with Disney and it, trust me, if they trust us, you can trust us, your clients can trust us. And so I think it's important to say that, Hey, NFL teams have hundreds of our outdoor TVs through their stadiums. Thousands of our lighted mirrors are found in hotels throughout the country, throughout the world, um, TV mirrors and, you know, high-end restaurants, things like that. So. so that full product category, like I said, really starts with vanity TV mirrors back in 03, uh, quickly evolved to entertainment TV mirrors. So these are typically larger displays, you know, above a fireplace, back bar, home gym, for example. What makes an entertainment TV mirror different than a vanity TV mirror is we responded to the demand for folks by creating a glass that produced TV first, mirror second quality. So whereas vanity TV mirrors are mirror first, TV second, entertainment really focuses on the highest quality viewability of the display itself relative to that application, relative to the, to the mirror. So that's gonna have enough vanishing quality from a reasonable distance, it's gonna vanish. The vanity TV mirrors, that is a very, very high quality reflectivity. 
uh, as I'll mention later as well, our vanishing vanity glass. We're on our third generation of that. Probably the highest quality reflectivity that you're gonna find for a true vanishing solution, short of silver mirror. And then the electronics themselves that we provide, they're extremely high quality. So I don't wanna take anything away from that. Dedicated Sierra displays uh, by and large and, and really designed for those applications. Lighted mirrors, which I'll definitely get into more of those details, they were actually born from lighted TV mirrors. So we're working on a hospitality project and they, you know, we quoted out TV mirrors. We, that's what we did. And they said, could you incorporate lighting into that TV mirror? And we did, we designed the lighted TV mirror. For budgetary reasons, they said, ah, we gotta kinda nix this thing. But out of curiosity, what would it be, what, you know, what would the cost be if we just did lighting? Which is like, what, what are the TV mirror company? You can't take the TV out of the mirror, right? But uh, we did it and won the, won the project with just lighted mirrors. So lighted mirrors were born. Lighted mirrors are now the number one volume uh, producing product that we manufacture and sell. Um, again, designed, produced right in Green Bay, Wisconsin. So really tremendous opportunity that as you see thousands of these through, through hotels, your clients see that. So then that trickles down to demand for their own home. And I'll, like I said, I'll get into more details of why lighted mirrors and why sear lighted mirrors later. Uh, Hydra indoor waterproof TVs. Uh, this is a phenom phenomenal product that makes the TV an appliance in the kitchen. So the analogy I use to say, why is that important? Well, you could, and we used to for a few hundred bucks, you know, throw a microwave on the counter as an afterthought. Well, that's not what folks do anymore. They invest in microwaves that are thousands of dollars built into that kitchen because that's what fits the design. And so at two to 3,000 retail, a 19 or 27 inch hydro indoor waterproof TV becomes the most affordable appliance in that kitchen space. That's a place where people spend a lot of time. Um, you know, they, they want high design though within that, that space and in a good experience. As I stated though, hydro indoor waterproof TV, it was originally designed to go in the shower in a kitchen backsplash. Uh, it's just that designers through the ability to customize the bezel finish and all that really brought it to the kitchen space. So able to respond to that demand. Just like with our outdoor TVs. So, I mean, the outdoor industry is huge, growing, continues to grow. I think less than half of TVs put outside still are dedicated outdoor TVs. Um, so there's huge opportunity there for additional, you know, for a dedicated solution, additional revenue by using an outdoor TV, a, a better client experience. These really came about from Sierra when folks looked at Hydra as an indoor waterproof TV and said, I love it, high design. I want it to be bigger and put outside. Well, we had a design dedicated outdoor TVs, launched them. They started shipping in 2012 and we're on our third generation ultra bright like you see here. So you can actually put these TVs in direct sun applications. Uh, and then we have our best in class shade series outdoor TVs as well. So outdoor TVs for any application outside variety of size and, and price ranges relative to the project needs. Smart mirrors, uh, smart mirrors, they're kind of the pinnacle of that vanity TV, uh, vanity mirror um, application. So a premium solution with optimal connectivity uh, within that bathroom space. This is a space where you start and end your day. You want maximum control over what's going on in the world. And the smart mirror does that through an interactive touch screen uh, Android based platform where you have your email, your, your calendar, weather, how cold is it going to be today? Or a few months from now, we're going to be saying, good Lord, how hot is it going to be today? Um, but all that information is right there in the smart mirror. So kind of a cool, uh, you know, very, uh, very high, high end technology for the bathroom experience as well that, that our clients love. So the Sierra home kind of the over encompassing, like how can we really maximize our opportunity with Sierra? And that's focusing on the, the fact that we provide video solutions throughout the home, inside and outside, where regular TVs cannot go. So whether it's from a functional perspective, like our outdoor TVs, like our hydro indoor waterproof TVs, or like it's from a design perspective, like our, our TV mirrors. Um, so this is all incremental opportunity that allows you to specify video, just like you do audio. You're not putting a two channel 
audio system in every room in the home, but you probably are specifying audio throughout the home, lighting, control. Here you can do that with video by you utilizing SEER in those spaces where regular TV can't go. And then on top of that, and what we'll be focusing on today is specifically the vanity applications. So within that master bathroom, yeah, you might have a smart mirror or a TV mirror or a lighted TV mirror, but every bathroom needs lighting, every bathroom needs a mirror. This is the opportunity with lighted mirrors. So I get it, maybe, I mean, hey, if you can do a TV mirror throughout every bathroom, great, okay? But historically what happens is the master bathroom is where that big investment's made for the TV mirror, um, smart mirror, lighted TV mirror. The opportunity is saying, what are we doing for lighting and mirrors in the other bathrooms of the home? And that's where Sierra can provide vanity mirror technology, um, certainly vanishing TV mirror technology, but vanity mirror technology across multiple degrees throughout the entire home in every bathroom in the home. So digging into outdoor TVs, just as a recap of things here, um, like I said, we have our shade series outdoor TVs, just like the name implies, it is for shaded applications, but a dedicated two year warranty, best in class design, best in class performance with the brightest display, includes the sound bar. So just tremendous value, 55 shade TVs, $24.99 retail. We also have 65 shade TVs or 75 shade TVs and we'll be coming out with a 43. Ultra bright outdoor TVs. So unique design and you see that reflective side panel uh, just to minimize that off wall, that off, off wall distance, uh, at least the perceived distance there. Um, what makes ultra bright outdoor TVs different than shade series TVs? They are brighter inherently, but what, truly provides the why behind Sierra Outdoor TVs is one, you've got a full two year warranty for outdoor use, indoor TVs, zero days, All right? So whether it's a shaded application with the shade series TVs, fully weatherproof, going in the shade, or the ultra bright, fully weatherproof, but also providing you the flexibility to install that in a direct sun application. So ultra brights are not just weatherproof, they're also sunproof. That's because they have our patent pending adaptive picture technology for optimal viewing, regardless of the time of day, regardless of the lighting conditions, because as bright as they can get, you don't want that brightness screaming at you at dusk or nighttime, right? But when you ramp that backlighting back up for high noon, you also want optimal color saturation through adjusting the contrast ratio. So that adaptive picture technology is really providing an optimal viewing experience regardless of the lighting conditions. Most important for why you can install this in direct sun is the active airflow system. So it doesn't matter how bright your TV gets. You have 5,000 nit brightness, right? But if it doesn't have heating and cooling elements to regulate the temperature of the electronics, it's not going to work. That's why the ultra bright with its active airflow system can be installed in any lighting application, even direct sun. So even when the TV's off, as long as it's plugged in and the settings are appropriate, the active airflow system is going to work. So when you're asking the question, how and where do you spend your time outside? If they say, hey, 90% of the time we're out by the pool, perfect, we have a video solution for that. Don't make assumptions that if you ask the question, do you want a TV outside? They don't know that outdoor TVs exist. They don't know they can do this. Same with audio. They don't know the full landscape type solutions that exist out there, that experience that they can get. So provide them that full opportunity to experience AV outside, really by asking the question, how and where are you spending your time outside? I have a solution for that. So that's kind of the recap of, of you know, everything that we're doing, um, you know, for outdoors, indoors, again, we have the Hydra indoor waterproof TV. So kind of going back inside here, and you can put it right in the shower. Entertainment TV mirrors, um, obviously living areas. This is where it's like, hey, I really want a mirror in this space for a design perspective we can do that in a tailored solution and also provide video through there as well. Because you know a designer is not gonna let a TV go in that space. But a TV mirror, it's a win-win for everyone. I always show this slide and I say, hey, this is a restaurant that instead of only being able to charge 10 bucks for a plate of nachos, now they can charge 20. Totally different experience when you walk in that space. Bringing that same experience into your home. You know, I mean, hey, we got to practice social distancing. So 
um, you know, when we're trying to maximize our stay at home experience, Sierra products are able to do that by bringing that, uh, you know, instead of going out to the bar, you're bar hopping at home, right? But back bars are a very common application. It's where you want a mirror, it's where you want view of the screen, it's where you want to show off to your friends when they can come over again someday. And then smart mirrors. So this is kind of going into the, the vanity mirror applications, um, which will be our focus going forward. So smart mirrors, really that, that top end solution for a bathroom experience, you're bringing the connected home experience within that space. It also serves as a TV mirror as well. So there's multiple inputs where you can change the different sources. So why Sierra TV mirrors with the vanishing technology? So whether it's a smart mirror or a TV mirror, a lighted TV mirror uh, with the vanishing technology, our vanishing vanity glass is the best vanishing glass that you're gonna find. This is a pass fail application. Just like putting an ultra bright outdoor TV outside in direct sun is pass fail. You cannot put anything else in that application. A Sierra vanishing vanity mirror is pass fail for a bathroom application. This is a functional mirror above all else, much less it also providing, you know, optimal viewing experience relative to that product category. So this is a mirror folks are using day in, day out. Like I said, we're on our third generation glass, um, really maximizing the optimal reflectivity and true color and clarity um, reflection of that mirror as well. So now diving into lighted mirrors. So why lighted mirrors really comes down to the quality of that light source, okay? And you could do lighted TV mirrors, you can't do a lighted smart mirror just because the interactive touch interface on, on that smart mirror, but you can do lighted TV mirrors, you could do lighted matching mirrors using that vanishing glass to make sure everything matches, or lighted mirrors with silver mirror if it's standalone in that product. But the quality of that light source, when it's shining out at you, is minimizing the shadows on, on your face. So this is why you see makeup mirrors that have those big gaudy incandescent bulbs around the perimeter. That's because they want, the, they want to minimize the shadows that a downfiring sconce would, would produce. <coughs> so why lighted mirrors in general? More mirror, better light. So it's a better light source than a traditional downfiring sconce. It's easy too. To, you, know, you see the, the same wiring that you would do for a traditional mirror and sconce can produce your lighted mirror as well, yet providing a arguably more elegant design, um, at least a differentiator relative to your traditional downfiring sconce. So again, why lighted mirrors? Just a little bit more relative to that category. Lighted mirrors are providing the task lighting at that sink. So your downfiring, your can lights and all that, they're there to provide ambient lighting but the lighted mirror is providing task lighting and the best task lighting possible at that sink. Um, if you wanna increase the brightness of the reflectivity of your mirror, it's not about shining light on the mirror, it's about illuminating the user of that mirror. What's being reflected in that mirror is gonna increase the brightness of that reflectivity. So specifically, why Sierra lighted mirrors? And this is really important because you can Google light a mirror online and find a bunch of cheap stuff that was imported from China, right? So we have the highest quality glass, highest quality lighting, and the highest quality experience. And I'll get into each of those points here. So with the quality of the glass itself, we use a copper-free mirror, whether it's our vanishing technology or our silvered mirror, it's a copper-free backing. So this is not a picture of our mirror. This is a picture of like a competitive mirror. That just to show you what that black edge looks like, you've probably seen that. So that's the oxidization of the metallic coating on the back of the mirror, especially caused by using ammoniated glass cleaners. So standard Windex is not good for mirrors. They do have ammonia-free Windex, but standard Windex is really good for nothing but windows and surfaces. There's other ammonia-free glass cleaners. You definitely want to use that on all mirrors, but serialized mirrors with its copper-free backing is going to even more so uh, provide durability to the quality of that glass and the quality of that reflection. And then two, the quality of our light source. So we use our brilliant LED technology. So what makes that quality? One is, is the brightness, the quality of that light. 
um, as bright as fluorescent lighting, but efficient like LEDs. Our standard color temperature, and color temp does not define quality, but I'm gonna get into some of the characteristics. So color temp really is just, it's a specification characteristic of the actual lighting source itself. So our standard is 3000 Kelvin color temp. You can specify whatever you want. You want 4200, you want 2700, gets a little warmer, you know, whatever. We can do that. Um, again, this is responding to kind of a lighting designer's specifications, you know, the characteristics that they need within that mirror. And we have flexibility to do that. Um, you know, we can even do multiple lighting sources if you want 3000 in the morning, 4200 at night, wh whatever the story might be. We, we can do those things with multiple lighting components within that mirror. Um, quirky thing with Kelvin color temp, the lower you go, the warmer it actually gets. So, and if you want to talk about zero degrees Kelvin, that's an astrophysics conversation and, and be happy to have that offline. So, um, that's your absolute zero, right? But anyway, Kelvin color temp, that's something that you'll see. We have flexibility with what we can do there. Just to get into some of the lighting components here. Like I said, our standard for residential bathroom applications would be 3000 Kelvin. Um, but we do have some flexibility, re, you know, just depending on that specific application. So the real why when it comes to quality is color rendering index. So color rendering index really measures what percentage of the color spectrum is this light source illuminating. So as the industry gets more and more into lighting control and, and just lighting fixtures, that's, that's what we're here to provide and, and complement with that lighting movement is you know color rendering index is so important if you don't see a, a color rendering index specified on a light fixture there's a great chance it's only 70 to 80. so that means only 70 to 80 percent of the color spectrum is illuminated the sun has a cri rating of 100 makes sense right it's the sun that dictates the color spectrum sierra lighted mirrors have a cri rating of 95 plus 95 plus and any lighting designer anyone knowledgeable to lighting specifications is going to know that that is extremely high quality um, it, it produces much lower uh, yield with the led components to create that high cri but it is critical for optimal quality within the mirrors and that's where sear lighted mirrors shine with our quality there's other components like r9 values and all that that we can get into as well and you'll see more of that coming down the line uh, but right now, the leading indicator of quality, my opinion on the light source is, is the color rendering index. You've probably seen some demonstrations even out there where you can see the differences in the two. And man, how the colors pop is, is amazing. And then that third component of, you know, why sear lighted mirrors versus, you know, your three options that you might find from someone online. It's that, it's that highest quality experience. So like I said, we have flexibility in the color temperature that we can provide, even in our dimming options. Our standard dimming option is zero to 10 volts, but you can do line level if you need. But the real key with CIRA is we are designing and producing with industry best lead times, everything from quantity one to quantity a thousand, right? So if you say, I've got five bathrooms in this custom home and each mirror is different, I need a 70 and 3 8 wide by 40 and a half high. The client wants their name etched and lit up in cursive across the top. We can do that all within the best lead times that you're going to find, whether it comes from our quoting experience, again, to the engineering, the design, that full experience is going to be the best relative to anything else that you can do. So the opportunity to provide tailored one-off solutions is huge, just huge. So, that's where when you can present sear lighted mirrors to a, to a designer, to a specification partner, and they know us, they're like, yep, that's the way to roll. If they don't know us, please introduce us to them um, because they probably honestly don't know about that experience. So within the AV industry, how do we really get into lighted mirrors? How do we sell them throughout the home? It really starts in the master bathroom typically with AV technology, right? With the video solutions. So instead of just specifying a TV mirror, because if you just do a TV mirror, it's pretty much all or nothing, right? You want a TV mirror? No, okay, then it's just regular mirror. If you can start with a lighted TV mirror, 
now you're giving that client an optimal experience within that space. Again, the best quality lighting, arguably much more elegant than any other traditional, you know, sconce solution. You're getting them the wow factor of the vanishing TV, you know, that experience to be able to get their information right, right in their bathroom mirror. You, as an integrator, are maximizing your opportunity to maximize your revenue and profit in that space because you're just going bigger and better, right? You're also giving yourself an opportunity to value engineer them here. So let's say they say, I gotta trim something back a little bit. No problem, we could remove the lighting or remove the TV or maybe downsize the TV, you name it, right? But you have options. So if you just do a 19 inch TV mirror, it's pretty much that or none. But if you could do a lighted 27 inch TV mirror, you've got space to go. Beyond that, you're opening up that opportunity throughout the home, right? Because when you turn that, TV off in that lighted TV mirror, it's just a lighted mirror. But that's okay, because every bathroom needs mirrors, every bathroom needs lighting, and this is now the opportunity where you're saying, hey, what are you doing in the other bathrooms of the home? Now, a lighted mirror on its own is a fixture, no doubt. So they might say, well, we've got that covered through, you know, I mean, you might have electrician, lighting designer, who knows what, right? But it never hurts to ask the question, and trust me, what we see is an opportunity within just the bathrooms of the home, you're taking your scope of the project from $5,000 cost, let's say, for a TV mirror, lighted TV mirror, smart mirror, you're up in that to 15 to 20 grand. So you're potentially quadrupling, I would say, your opportunity just with vanity mirror technology from Sierra throughout the home. So how do we do it? So go to Sierra.com. It's a really simple process. You go to Sierra.com, anywhere that you're at there, this is, this is our homepage. And you see, I mean, we, we lead with light and mirrors. But when you scroll all the way to the bottom, you go to request a quote. So this is the tool that walks you through everything we need to know from a logistics standpoint and specification, right? Because, I mean, shipping is very variable. Shipping is variable depending on the mirror size, depending on where it's going, do you have all floating facilities, you drop shipping it to the residents, we can do all that, but we wanna make sure that your margin is protected up front so that you have that full cost quote up front, even at that budgetary stage, we'd ask that you'd send us. You know, we're gonna respond with a sales order. If, if the time is right, we're gonna respond with a shop drawing as well so that you have everything that you need for that project. But this kind of reminds you that, hey, you know, I came in to just do a TV mirror, but yeah, that's right, let's do a lighted TV mirror. And oh, by the way, let's do many lighted mirrors because this bathroom or this home has six to eight bathrooms in it. And we want to lead with consistent design, consistent quality using Sierra throughout the home and the ability so that every bathroom gets exactly the product that it needs for that bathroom space. What's going on right now? We've got an awesome promo just because how tremendous the opportunity is with lighted mirrors. If you order a vanity TV mirror now through May, you get a free 24 wide by 36 high lumen lighted mirror, um, ideally for your, your showroom, your show home, you know, some place where you can really experience this product. You can allow your clients down the road to experience the product as well. So that really covers kind of the product solutions, um, you know, the what, why, and the how. Uh, certainly maybe you have more questions, but also want to let you know that we have a CU course called the Science of Light. So this is how important lighting is to our industry, to CIRA, uh, to you all, to the designers, the specification community that you work with. This is an IDCEC approved course that helps drive the awareness. I usually present who CIRA is so they understand who we're coming from, where we're coming from. We can do this virtually. So during this time of um, safer at home uh, time frame here, we can pr provide this virtually uh, so that they can get some CU credits, learn about lighting. Uh, it's a tremendous opportunity with, with the conversations. It's amazing what, what you all know that maybe the folks that really are the strong influencers on that project might not know about lighting. So this is an opportunity to drive that awareness. So that's everything I had to go over today. Uh, appreciate your time, about a half an hour on the dot. Um, and I know you guys are, you know, flooded with, with a lot of calls and webinars and all that, but um, we want to make sure we're giving you the tools to help fill that pipeline, um, keep, keep that revenue flowing because 
people are trying to maximize their stay at home experience and this is really another opportunity to do that. So with that, are there any questions? I think if I go to the chat section. So on my end, I don't see questions. So I must have just done such an awesome job, totally thorough, right? But hey, if there are any questions, you can always take things offline. Um, you know, you go through your local rep, you contact me. Um, yeah, so hey Trey, hope you're doing well, man. Hey, uh, dimming is zero to 10 volts, right? So yeah, um, dimming is, our standard dimming option is zero to 10 volts. So all of our lighting mirrors are gonna come with zero to 10 volts. If you need line level, like um, if you need a different dimming option, let us know. Like I said, that's, that's part of that best quality experience that you're gonna get with Sierra. Because if you say, this is specific to my application, we'll work with you on that. So, but otherwise, zero to 10 volts is our standard dimming. Any other questions? Don't be shy. Oh, yeah. All right. Um, oh, Pam, hey, hope all is well. Uh, question on, on the webinar itself, downloading that. Um, yeah, I should have a, at least a PDF uh, version of this that I'll send, I'll send to James so he can, he can get out. I'll, I'll send it directly to you as well. Um, so just so that you guys can reference that, you bet. So beyond that, any other questions? Going once, twice, thrice. Um, so question on Lutron dimming using zero to 10. Yeah, and that's that's one thing I, I know, uh, you know, a lot of folks use Lutron and, and it uh, works well with the zero to 10 volt dimming. Could the light of mirror be added to an automated lighting system be controlled by the system? Yes. Yep. Um, so again, that's where, you know, the light of mirror itself is on its own so simple. It is pretty much a hardware sconce, but that zero to 10 volt dimming, um, that provides the control, uh, you know, through other dimming systems and control systems. So deal. Um, I'll give you my email address as well. If anyone needs something directly from me, it's Tony at Seer.com, T-O-N-Y at S-E-U-R-A.com. Um, otherwise, like I said, you can email your questions through your, uh, your dedicated rep at Mel McCoy and they can get that to me. And uh, yeah, so uh, integration control on the TV. Okay, so with TVs, it does depend on the size and, and the, the model in general. Uh, integration controls on the TV are a combination of IR, RS-232, and or IP. So it does depend on the TV size, the generation. Um, they all have you know, some level of IR. Um, in general, the way things are going is IR, RS-232, and IP control for the TVs themselves. But definitely, so you know, I showed you where to go to request a quote. So right below that is dealer resources. That's where you really want to reference everything, you know, per project. Just make sure that it syncs up, that you understand how the product's going to sync up for your dedicated application. And all that information's right there at the dealer resources. No password, you know, there's really nothing dangerous there. So um, just providing you the tools that you need to um, have a successful install. Anything else, folks? A uh, particular brand of TV. So the Sierra TVs are, well, they're Sierra TVs. So from 10 inch up to 65, they are Sierra TVs. So there's a few different platforms. So our 19 and 27 inch platform, which is primarily used for vanity applications, um, those are Sierra uh, design TVs. We have Sierra Design TVs in another platform for, from 42 inches up to 65. 
Um, that's transitioning where the 55, 65, 75 for TV mirrors, they'll actually be Samsung TVs that we'll utilize. Uh, for the outdoor TVs, those are all dedicated Sierra outdoor TVs from 42, 43, up to 86. So we have outdoor TVs up to 86s, and those are Sierra design TVs. Very best practices technician training video. Uh, I don't have a, a technical training video because it, it really is dependent on product category. Um, I'm happy to you know have dedicated discussions on that. I just know that I best practice for technical training really is dependent on the application that's going on right there because we have those tools at the dealer resources we always provide dedicated shop drawings for the tv mirrors the lighted mirrors uh, any mirror product um, so we'd like to have that conversation allow you to review what we have going there um, you know for that specific project because uh, it's very important that we understand sira from a high level application opportunity because again, it's all about the perfect harmony of technology and design. Um, so it's really about understanding that this is a design technology piece. Um, you know, I can, like I said, I can get into dedicated technical specifications relative to your project and that specific product. This got into, this presentation got a little bit more technical into lighted mirrors. Like I said, we did a dedicated uh, presentation on outdoor TVs, um, but, I'd like to have those dedicated uh, conversations if, if there are certain characteristics, I guess, because I always want to refer you to that dealer resources page online. So kind of a long answer to a short question. So, but need to qualify it sometimes, right? Uh, any other questions though? Anything else I can do to help right now? See, so, yeah, I, think, I think we really looked high level, the experience that we have, um, and then focus on lighted mirrors. So uh, let's see, I'm guessing if the client wanted a lighted mirror and there's other mirrors near shooting. Um, so one question was, I think maybe when it comes to the glass quality and even the lighting specification. So we have three types of glass, vanishing vanity, vanishing entertainment, and then silvered mirror. So let's say you have a master bathroom with multiple mirrors the largest single sheet of glass we can do is 94 by 7. You don't need to memorize that. It's all in the quote form. But let's say you have a 120 inch run. We can produce an overall assembly that might have seams in it. Maybe you have a TV mirror in the center and then two, mat two lighted mirrors flanking it. We can use that vanishing vanity glass for the lighted mirrors to make sure all the glass matches. Because even though it might be close to silver mirror, it's still a little different. So Think of multiple different, different brands of white paint. White paint from Lowe's is different than white paint from Home Depot is different than white paint from Sherman Williams. So you're not gonna paint the same wall with different shades of white paint. That's the same with glass. It's also the same with lighting. Um, so lighting sources like 3000 Kelvin on one lighting fixture might be a little different than another. Um, so ideally, if they're gonna have mirrors in, in a bathroom space, they'd want all the mirrors to be serum for example. I can always look at different projects and applications and let you know where there might be some flexibility. There. Um, is there a hinge mounting solution for servicing mirrors? Uh, not, not something that we, de the, we provide dedicated. Uh, folks might mount our mirror onto a hinged substrate. You can find the previous recording in the outdoor TV webinar. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah, we, the, Outdoor TV webinar is recorded. Bell McCoy has their kind of university website where that can be accessed. So www.bellandmccoyuniversity.com. Um, and then this one would be on there as well. So thanks, Simon, for that. Uh, any other questions? Yeah, as you see, I mean, I, I don't dive too deep in the technical details of things because it can vary just based on how you roll with that project. Um, so you know, please contact me or your local rep directly and we can help you out with any additional questions you might have. The real key to success is just understanding the opportunity that's out there with these different applications. Help, let us help you with the details on the back end of that. Hey, Tony, um, I guess you're ending this webinar. I was on a phone call, but um, I had a question that was kind of directed to me um, separately and it was about pricing. Okay. Um, 
do you mind just just pulling up the dealer resources and showing everybody where their pricing where your pricing is and you know kind of give an idea on like um how to use that and then that kind of thing i don't know if you did that but well i went through the quote form and i would encourage you for all mirrored products utilize that quote form request the quote through the through the quote form um if you go to that dealer resources page that like I said, when you go to sear.com, anywhere at the website, scroll all the way to the bottom. And I'll, I can flip up to that here. Um, yeah, you should, that'd be awesome. So when you scroll all the way to the bottom, request a quote. I highly encourage you to utilize that for any mirror product or any mirror project. Um, and the reason for that is because then it allows us to kind of know and help you project manage through that process because sometimes those time frames can be extended we want to make sure that we're giving you updates on any specification parameters um, most importantly it makes sure that you see the different specification parameters and watch you through that plus the logistics side of things we want to make sure that you've got that kind of all-in cost that you can then budget in for that project um, if you go to dealer resources right below that the first tab on that would be, I think it's dealer resources um, or sales tools or something like that. It's the retail price list is there. You can also cruise through like a lot of the standard products. Um, so we have a online Sierra store. So what makes it really simple to order standard products directly through Sierra, the one step process, like let's say a standard outdoor TV you can actually log into your account at sierra.com and then your cost is gonna show up and you can order it right through there. So you can check both your cost and retail by using the online system, ordering system, or going to dealer resources. And again, the first tab, you click that, it's gonna expand down and you're gonna see retail pricing. I just highly recommend, just quick do the request to quote if you're working on a mirror project. You know, Let us help you um, put that together. Yeah, no, great. I mean, we've, we've gone through the dealer resources and it's a really fantastic way if you're a dealer just to, to get everything you need. Um, so that's a great thing to have. It's really easy to get to. Sometimes not a lot of these manufacturers, it's easy to get to their stuff. So that's yep. it. And like I said, you go to sear.com all the way to the bottom, dealer resources. You're going to have standard shop drawings. You're going to have specification tools, manuals. You know, a lot of the technical details are there. And like I said, it can vary product to product. So that's why I direct you to there to look at that stuff. Um, and then for budgetary pricing, you can either scroll through for standards, you can scroll through the different product categories at the top at sear.com. Or like I said, you can utilize that, that retail price list. We don't publish cost. Um, once you log in, so when you see up in the upper right hand corner, that little silhouette of the head, you'd log into there to log into your account to be able to order standards direct right there. Um, otherwise, yeah, again, with mirror products, just go ahead and quick fill out that request to quote, send it in for us. Any other questions? James, any other points I need to cover? Or? No, man, thanks for coming on and, and you know, going over all this this good stuff and it's really good. It's, it's great to be able to reach so many people um, so easily, you know, and I'm going to trainings and things like that. So it's nice. Yep. Yep. No, it's our three key initiatives, really helping folks, you know, because I know it's a roller coaster out there right now. So, you know, the lighted mirror specifically um, with that, that free lighted mirror demo promo, uh, that's, that's something to really help say, hey, we're going to get out of this. You know, we need to maximize our opportunity and, and look down the road as well. And then with the outdoor TVs, that's the other huge category that really drives a lot of volume. We're getting into that outdoor season. Look, people are again, trying to maximize their stay at home experience. And so Sear Outdoor TVs and Outdoor AV really helps provide that. So um, yeah, just keep me posted how, how I can help and how our team can help, so. Will do. Thanks, Tony. Y'all have a good day and we'll, we'll jump off and I'll record this and it will be up on the Bell McCoy University. Uh, it usually takes me a few hours to get it up there, but um, but we'll have it up there so you guys can, can rewatch it anytime, okay? All right, thanks everyone. Thanks guys.